mood boards in Adobe Spark. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about mood boards and we're going to be creating our very own using Adobe Spark. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am at spark.adobe.com. I'm going to click on the blue plus sign and start from scratch. Doesn't matter really the size you choose. I'm gonna go ahead and go with landscape here. You could always change the size up later. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing here is importing the image that has the series of colors that I want to use for my mood board. So right here, I'm going to click on that X. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is actually name this project or save it as mood board. Automatically saves here. So I'm going to go ahead and import a photo that I shot here. It's in my office of a poster that I have here that's got some really cool colors. It is a Star Wars poster. I'm a Star Wars nerd and I love this poster, but I also love the colors that are within the posters. So here it is. What I'm going to do actually is click and crop it. So we're going to remove that black frame there. And then there we go, do that. Click out and let's maybe resize it so you can see. It's really cool colors there, kind of black and some bluish and green tones there, which are really cool. So this is going to be my mood board kind of inspiration. So now what I'll do is click out here and choose background and then go with kind of this setup of grid. It's got about nine cells here. Uh, as you can see here, let me kind of shuffle here so we can see. So we got like four cells there on the left and then it looks like five on the other side there. And then what I'll do is actually, let me click here and what I'll do is resize this. I'm going to use this or these left cells as kind of the color blocks for those colors. Now that I have those cells set up there on the left, what I'm going to do is click out here and go back to background again. And as you can see, I have a border and cell option here. I'm going to click and drag this to the right to kind of create kind of a nice little separation here for my mood board. Now what I'll do is click into this cell right here and I want to add the color from that poster into that cell. So I'm gonna choose the first color. So I'll click here where it says color and come down here to this eyedropper tool here. And when I click on there, I should be able to come out here to the picture and click anywhere in those colors and it should add it over there. So let's go start with this one right here. Boom, so there we have that first color. And now let me click onto this cell. And again, just repeat the process, take the eyedropper tool and maybe go with this color here and then click here. As you can see, just repeat the process, go again with the eyedropper and then maybe add kind of this lighter color right there. And then click this one right here. And one more time, let's go here, the eyedropper and let me just go right about there. So there we have kind of the start of my mood board. So I've got those colors on the left hand side. So now the next thing I'll do is actually click on this picture. And what I'm going to do is actually, let me go ahead and drop that or throw it away. And what I'm going to do is actually click in this cell and I'm just going to say, choose image. I'm just going to bring it back in. That's where the inspiration came from. And it should fit into this one cell that I had chosen. And so there is the inspiration for this mood board. So now my next step would be is to click into each of those cells that are remaining and then add an image that kind of represents my mood color over there on the left. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll probably speed up this process. Now that I got the images added here into my mood board, the next thing I'll do is kind of create a title box or badge. What I'll do here first is start with icons and then I'll choose, let's go with, let's see what badge looks like. See what kind of images I get. Okay, cool. I'll go with, uh, let's go with this one right here. So we got that right there and I'll kind of resize this a little bit and maybe let's tilt it just a bit. Maybe go about right there and I'll change the color. I can go with black as well. Maybe I'll just use white here. And then I'll add some text and I'm going to call this mood board just for a lack of a better term here, mood board. And let's go, let's choose 
one of my colors. So you notice right here where it says current palette. If I click on here, it's gonna choose colors that are already in here, or I can go with a black here. And let me choose a different font here. Go with that. And let's adjust that. Put it right there. Just shrink it down a bit. So here we go. We've got mood board. Use my arrow keys here to adjust that. And what I'll do is I'll click on shift and select the shape there as well so that it groups it together. So that way if I move it around, it keeps it all together. I probably could have called this Star Wars inspired mood board or maybe called it, let's see, mood board. Since it's got Han Solo, let's call this Han. And it's got Boba Fett, I'll call it Han Fett. There we go. Mo mood board, Han Fett. Probably should say Han Fett mood board. People are gonna be like, what in the world? But you kind of get the idea. I'm using the Boba Fett and Han Solo picture here. So we can see it a little better, maybe increase it. That was the inspiration to this mood board. And I'm sure you can create some much better mood boards, but I just kind of wanted to give you an example here. So this again, how to create a mood board like this using Adobe Spark. Well, I hope this video was helpful and something that you can use to create your own mood boards. If you want a template, I'll have a link in the description where you can sign up for my newsletter and I'll send you a couple of free templates to start off your own mood boards. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for watching this video and as always, be good to one another.